Hello everyone. If you want to create a short for, let us say, YouTube, you can actually easily do it using Caden Live. Now I have thousands of videos, tutorials that I have been creating uh, uh, for many years, and uh, now these days YouTube uh, is promoting shorts quite a lot although you can create a shot using your mobile phone very easily but uh, if you want to convert your existing videos using shorts or maybe you just want to create a shot directly you can and you can edit it using Caden Live. you just need to make sure that the format or the resolution is correct so all you need to do it is actually very simple let us do it very quickly and i'll try to give you two examples one where uh, there is only video the other one with maybe some screen cast or basically some uh, tutorial where I'm showing my screen. So let us uh, create a new project. And uh, what you need to do, you need to make sure that you are selecting here from the list, because when you create a new project in KDLI, you have to make sure that the format is vertical with uh, 30 FPS. You, uh, you can also use square, but I think 30 F, but I think vertical is fine. It's like more common, I guess. But click on the OK button and you will get on the right hand side, this area where you can see uh, the the layout, but we have to of course uh, work on the work on the uh, actual clip so that it fits, and it is not very difficult. Of course, uh, this is this is important where you have to convert a recording using uh, any other resolution to this resolution, or not really resolution, but you know the ratio. Uh, because usually we, we shoot or we record in 16 by 9 and uh, for shorts you need 9 by 16. So let us add a clip and what I will do is I will simply, I'll first try to add a clip where I have uh, just me talking on camera. So I'll add it on the, on, like in the, in the bin and then I'll drag it to the project uh, timeline and it will ask you or suggest you do you want to switch the profile to uh, 1920 by 180. You don't really want to do it because it will uh, disturb the because because it is just a recommendation. You don't have to do it because it is your own shot uh, and you're trying to convert a video from this format to a, to something else. Um, so we have this video now, and all we need to do we just need to make sure that we are uh, transform it. So on the right hand side it will of course look like this, right? And let me just change the volume because uh, it will disturb us. So let us let us reduce the volume and now we have this video, right? So this is of course, so this is of course uh, something in a different format, but we need to transform it. So simply go to effects, select transform and uh, you need to drag it on the timeline, click on it, on the clip, not the timeline. And then you can see here that of course you can resize it. You can of course you now use these uh, options that you have, uh, like uh, using uh, your mouse, but you can also use the, uh, I, I think mouse works better because uh, you can easily do it. Otherwise, you can simply hover your mouse on top of size and then make sure the uh, the overall size of the clip is somewhere here. Or basically, it, it covers everything, the, the entire screen. And now, now I think it is looking good because it now covers my face. And maybe I want to uh, reduce it slightly. I think this looks fine now. So this is, of course, a simple way where, of course, I'm talking. And uh, it is uh, going to look good, I guess, because it is, of course, just focusing on uh, my f my face. And uh, it is, of course, you know, in the right format. And the thing is that you might want to align it from time to time. For example, at this stage, I, I know that I'm out of frame. So I can, of course, you know, at this stage, um, because when you are doing this editing somewhere, you may want to, of course, add uh, uh, maybe a keyframe. So let us do it. So I know that, okay, this is looking good. I think in this case, I don't really need to add a keyframe. But the other example where you may want to uh, show maybe your screen, let us do it very quickly. So I'll add a clip. I'll probably add a video where I have uh, some tutorial or basically some uh, uh, screencast. Usually I make tutorials. So if you look at this, of course, we have to do the same thing. We have the clip and 
I want to transform it. So I'll drag transform effect on the clip and then, then I'll click on the clip itself. And let us start, start from the very beginning. So in the beginning, of course, uh, there is nothing. Let us start. And okay, so this is looking all right to me. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to, of course, uh, expand the size. You can, of course, use the mouse, but uh, I'll simply do it using the size option here. And I'll keep on expanding it. And I think this looks good to me. So I think size-wise it is fine, but we need to make sure that we are in the center. So of course you can align it uh, like this. Like right now, of course, I'm talking about the cushion here and uh, maybe somewhere here. If you proceed further, so this is fine, this is fine. But now I'm trying to show maybe my mouse. So what I may want to do at this, at this stage, I can actually click on this keyframe and then I can slightly, like very slightly, move it on the, on the, like, like in center. So what will happen is it will, of course, you know, because then you are, uh, I mean, this will take some time, but it works. It works really, really, really nicely. So I'll just uh, reduce the, vo the volume again. So at this stage, we are still uh, on uh, the left hand side and the, and the moment we are about to reach the keyframe. So you can see that it is moving. Now this movement, will uh, happen because uh, we have the keyframe uh, uh, entered and there is and there is a difference like uh, because it is going to start the movement from the very beginning but usually if you want to start the movement uh, immediately like maybe i want to start the movement somewhere here so i can actually uh, add one more keyframe here like add keyframe and then the movement will start from here so you can actually uh, you, you you can actually uh, see that there, there is usually a movement. So if I remove, let us say, this uh, particular keyframe and let, let us just remove it and let me show you one more time. So let us say if you want uh, somewhere here in the clip, I'll just move myself. So in, I think this is probably not a great example, but uh, uh, let me just try. Okay, in this example, I'm not really sharing. I'm, too, I'm, I'm definitely sharing my screen, but I'm not massively moving my mouse, let me just reach to, maybe, maybe I'll reach a point where, okay, let me just insert a new clip because this is not a good example because I want to show you where, I want to show you a clip where I'm moving my, I'm moving between different screens and uh, I'm, I'm also talking about uh, something. So you can actually add different keyframes. So let me add this one. I think this is a good example. I made a video about this recently. Yeah, I think this is good. Okay, so first I'll transform it. And uh, I'll click on this and I can see here that there is a size. So let me increase the size first. So I know usually 300 something is a good size. Okay, so we, we can see here that, okay, so we have this mouse, right? So I'm basically going from left, uh, from right to, to left. So somewhere here, I may want to add uh, a keyframe and then I'll add a keyframe uh, also. Later on, so, so we have this, so mouse is somewhere on the right hand side. Then I can see the mouse coming on the, on the left. So, so, so there is a movement here. So I may want to add uh, one more keyframe here and I'll click on the button here. So when you, are, when you add multiple keyframes, make sure that uh, uh, whenever you add a keyframe, you also change the, uh, the uh, position, like using your, uh, maybe you can use the uh, position here, like X and Y coordinates, or you can simply use the, uh, the, the, point here in the center. So I'll probably just show you from the from from somewhere in the beginning. And I know that the mouse is somewhere here, maybe Where is my mouse. So you, I, I think it makes sense or it will actually be much more useful if you are using uh, maybe some kind of a pointer in your mouse. So it, it is easier to track. And uh, if I now show you, So there is a movement, but 
I may want to, okay, at this stage, I may want to focus on view workflow. So I want to, I may want to zoom in. So I'll add uh, one more keyframe. And when I add this keyframe, I may want to increase the size like this. And you can, of course, add keyframes at very short distances so that uh, uh, the movement is a bit uh, quick, not really gradually. So let us look at the clip now. So at this stage, of course, we are talking about the mouse is here and we can see this zooming in effect. And after this, you may want to zoom out. So you can, of course, do these things. Of course, it will take some time uh, to add multiple keyframes and uh, it works. That is the best part because uh, you can get in live, you can actually create a shot. And that is why that is what I wanted to show you. And uh, of course, you have to make sure that uh, uh, if you're trying to convert your existing videos to a shot, then um, making these movements makes sense because it should ideally follow. I mean, the people who are watching this shot on mobile phone, they have to follow the mouse or uh, otherwise they will probably not be able to get the most out of what you're trying to show. And that is it. That is all. That is all I wanted to talk about and show you in this video. I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.